Hello guys and welcome back to this channel. In the previous lesson, we learned how to find the derivative of a function from first principles. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use the general rule to find the derivative of a function. So given a function y is equal to x exponent n, then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to n times x exponent n minus 1. So what this primarily means is that if you want to differentiate a function say y is equal to x exponent n, then what you are going to do is you are going to drop n, you maintain x, and then you reduce the exponent by 1. So given a function say y is equal to x squared, then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to you drop down the 2 you maintain x and then you reduce the exponent by 1 so this is equal to 2x exponent 1 if you have a function say y is equal to x exponent 5 then dy dx is equal to you drop down the 5 you maintain x and then you reduce the exponent by 1 so we have 5 times x exponent 4. So this is very simple. Now let's try this together. Given that y is equal to 1 over x. Now according to indices, 1 over x is the same as x exponent negative 1. So the derivative of y with respect to x is we are going to drop down negative 1. And then we maintain x and reduce the exponent by 1. So this becomes negative 1 times x exponent negative 2. So from indices, this becomes negative 1 over x squared. Now given that y is equal to 1, then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 0. Now how do we arrive at the answer 0? Now let's consider y as 1 times x exponent 0. Now x exponent 0 is 1, so 1 times 1 is still 1. Now the differential of y with respect to x is equal to, now we are going to drop down the 0. So we have 0 times 1 times x exponent 0 minus 1. Now this is equal to 0 times 1 times x exponent negative 1. So 0 times everything here is still 0. So the derivative of y with respect to x for this function is equal to 0. So what this tells us is that the derivative Of a constant is 0. So if you have y equals 6, y equals 27, y equals 100, because all these are constants, the derivative of all these functions will be 0. Then again, given the function y equals a times x exponent n then the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to you drop down the n you maintain a you maintain x and then you reduce the exponent by 1 so given that y is equal to 4x squared then dy dx is equal to you drop down the 2 you maintain 4, you maintain x, and then you reduce the exponent by 1. So this is equal to 2 times 4 is 8. And then we have times x exponent 2 minus 1 is 1. So x exponent 1. Given that y is equal to 13 times x cubed, then the y dx is equal to 3 times 13 times x exponent 3 minus 1. 
So 3 times 13 is 39. And then we have x exponent 2. Now let's solve this. Given that y is equal to 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5. Then divide the x becomes 3 times 3 is 9. So 9x squared plus 4 times 2 is 8. So 8x. And when you differentiate a constant, you have 0. So the answer is 9x squared plus 8x. Now given that y is equal to 4x exponent 5 plus 6 exponent 2 plus 9. Then dy dx is equal to 4 times 5 is 20. So 20x exponent 4 plus 6 times 2 is 12. So 12x exponent 1. And then 9 goes to 0. So we have 20x exponent 4 plus 12x. So now let's solve some questions involving radicals. So given that y is equal to 4 over the square root of x. Now this is the same as 4 over x exponent 1 over 2. And from indices it is the same as 4 times x exponent negative 1 over 2. So the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to, we are going to drop down the negative 1 over 2. So we have negative 1 over 2 times 4 times x exponent negative 1 over 2 minus 1. Now this is the same as negative 1 over 2 times 4 is negative 2. So we have negative 2 times x exponent. Negative 1 over 2 minus 1 is negative 3 over 2. So from indices, this becomes negative 2 over x exponent 3 over 2. Now when you have an expression like x exponent 3 over 2, then it's equal to, you have the square root sign and then x inside the square root. Now the 3 becomes the exponent, okay, always the numerator becomes the exponent and the 2 goes here. So this becomes negative 2 over the square root of x cubed. Let's solve one more example on this. So let's consider the second example. Given that y is equal to 10 over the fifth root of x. Now this is the same as 10 over x exponent 1 over 5. So always the numerator becomes the exponent of x and the denominator goes here. So according to indices, this becomes 10 times x exponent negative 1 over 5. Now the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to we have negative 1 over 5 times 10 times x exponent negative 1 over 5 minus 1. So this becomes negative 1 over 5 times 10 becomes negative 2. So we have a negative 2 times x exponent negative 1 over 5 minus 1 becomes negative 6 over 5. So we have negative 2 over x exponent 6 over 5 and that is equal to negative 2 over the fifth root of x exponent 6. Now let's try this. Given that y is equal to x plus 2 all squared. Now to find the derivative, you can decide to expand this expression so that you have x plus 2 times x plus 2. Now let's expand this. So we have x times x, that is x squared. We have x times 2 which is 2x 
and then we also have 2 times x which is also 2x so 2x plus 2x is 4x and then 2 times 2 is 4 now the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to we have 2x plus 4 and you can factor out 2 so that you have x plus 2 so 2 times x plus 2 this is the answer now alternatively if y is equal to x plus 2 all squared then the derivative of y with respect to x can be you can drop down the 2 and then you differentiate what's in the bracket so when you differentiate x you are going to get 1 when you differentiate 2 which is a constant you are going to get 0 so 1 plus 0 is still 1 and then you maintain what's in the bracket x plus 2 and then you reduce the exponent by 1 so this becomes 2 times x plus 2 the same as what we have here so normally you want to use this approach especially if the power or the exponent is very large because it can sometimes be very confusing when you want to expand and then find the derivative let's solve some more examples so let's try this given that y is equal to 3x plus 2 exponent 4 then dy dx is equal to we have 4 times derivative of 3x is 3 derivative of 2 is 0 so we have 4 times 3 times 3x plus 2 exponent 3 so this becomes 12 times 3x plus 2 all exponents 3 so given that y is equal to x plus 4 exponent 7 then dy dx is equal to 7 times 1 times x plus 4 all exponent 6 so this becomes 7 times x plus 4 exponent 6 let's try this set of examples given that y is equal to 4x cubed minus 10x squared plus 6x all divided by 2x squared now we can separate each term at the numerator by dividing each of the three terms by 2x squared so we have 4x cubed divided by 2x squared minus 10x squared divided by 2x squared plus 6x divided by 2x squared now 2 goes into itself once and then into 4 2 times so we have 2 and then this becomes x exponent 3 minus 2 which is x exponent 1 and then 2 goes into itself once into 10 5 times and then x exponent 2 cancels out x exponent 2 plus 2 goes into itself once into 6 3 times so we have 3 and then x exponent 1 minus 2 becomes x exponent negative 1 so this is y now dy dx becomes 2 minus 0 plus now we are going to drop the negative 1 so we have negative 1 times 3 times x exponent negative 1 minus 1 so this becomes 2 plus now negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 and then we have x exponent negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2 so finally we have 2 minus 3 divided by x exponent 2 let's solve the second example given that y is equal to 8x exponent 3 over 2 minus 6x exponent 5 over 2 all divided by 
2 root x so this becomes 8 times x exponent 3 over 2 minus 6 x exponent 5 over 2 all divided by 2 times x exponent 1 over 2 now let's divide each term at the numerator by 2x exponent 1 over 2 so we have 8x exponent 3 over 2 divided by 2x exponent 1 over 2 minus 6x exponent 5 over 2 divided by 2x exponent 1 over 2 so this becomes 2 goes into itself once into 8 4 times so we have 4x exponent 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2 minus 2 goes into itself once into 6 3 times so 3x exponent 5 over 2 minus 1 over 2 so we have 4x now 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is 1 and then 5 over 2 minus 1 over 2 is 2 so this is y now let's find the y dx so dy dx becomes 4 minus 6x thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye